All right, we are ready to jump back into it. Hopefully, get a similar start to what we just had, and we just won't steal from Paragon quite so readily this That's time. The worst that could happen. It's not too bad. Again, it's fine with doing it because it was early enough that. Indirect, I think. With Malfon, you are about as close to the destruction as can be. Sometimes too close. But nice. I didn't really want the attack. Doom is a little too slow for our purposes. Hmm. I do really like slicing shot. Do we want blade dash even? When we're dashing around the room trying to do these quick clears, I think we end up leaving a lot of nice damage over time. Well, our cast, we have to pause our attacks just to send it out. So weirdly enough, I think I'm going to go blade dash on this run. So now I can just dash strike through enemies. Leave damage in my wake. So... Alright, it's okay if I take damage though. That's not... Not the stakes here, luckily. My plume grew stronger. All that matters is that speed. Um, well, we'll definitely take the hammer. Trying to get this going right away. I think these blade rips. Really, really good start for the run. Okay. Love Colossal Knuckle. This is the last time. Pretty solid. The three hit sequence. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that's, um, or I would assume even, that that's more base damage. Curious what the. It must be like 20 or 30, naturally. Hmm. Colossal Knuckle is really good for reducing any damage we do, do take. Rolling Knuckle is really solid for helping us keep the quick room clears going. And we don't have to totally rely on it on this build either, so it's a nice little balance. I think I'm happy with that. We'll go, go through the darkness. Oops. Heal up what little damage we have taken. Oh boy, yeah, this is gonna be really nice for the first little bit here, getting that early rolling knuckle. I lied about next run. Next, next run. So the one after this one, Erebus Gate. Wait for me. And hopefully be the heat level 10 one next time. Oh boy, let's. Break those shields. Probably gonna get more of them. Maybe not. That ah, one more. Ouch! Dust right into that one. My keepsake powered up. Oh, our keepsake was still powering up. Or oh wait, no. I think he was just talking about getting the bonus whatsoever potentially. Let's think about this really quick. One point. 2% at 5, you'd have an extra percent. So yeah, no, he was just talking about us being successful in the room. Hmm. It is a skull room. But it brings us up to 300 gold, which is definitely a nice, nice number to hit early on here. I wonder if we can get some more good explosions. That really helps us out. I think that might have been my first time ever fully tactically using one of those explosive barrel traps. I definitely, when you're in the Temple of Sticks and you get all the choppy rooms, with like, <laughs> it's not a good way to describe that. Rooms with the buns and the executioner's blades. Ooh, look at this map. I like this. Just changing the map is the extreme measure or whatever my thing was called. 
forget what the tactic punishment. One less giant evil crystal then. Olympus, I accept this message. Damn it. I was really hoping for some rift effects, my man. Doom on special. Yeah. I'll take that one there. Oh my gosh, yeah, I got so distracted by this new room. What was that I'm talking about? Did I finish what I was talking about? New thing to do with the Temple of Sticks. Oh gosh. Ooh, Spravo room. So, I'm fairly certain these are just guaranteed Lamb and Plume. Ooh, right, I do not have a deflect here. Let's, let's be a little bit... A little bit careful, shall we? Please. Doom. Let that do doom damage hit. Oh my gosh, let's... There we go. Now there's your problem. Gosh, just get out of there. There's all the traps. Fire in. Right, just break all those. No problem. We'll get out of the trap. It's chaos! Absolute and total chaos. Two seconds. All right, all right. Whew. There we are. Keep sitting really badly. Me hunching in on myself these days. There's far too much time in this chair. <laughs> Okay. Still could use. I don't like getting caught up in the start like that. But still could use, yeah, just a few more little boosts in power here. Delicious. More doom. I'll go with better blade rifts for now. Ooh, yes. Definitely happy to see shot. Ooh, and a double boon shot. <laughs> Game, why do you tempt me again? No hard feelings about that whole battle to the death thing last time, right, Charon? Especially since you absolutely demolished me. I was just messing with you, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Always appreciate your sense of humor, mate. Here's the favorite. Okay. Ooh, nice. I probably will just go with Greater Evasion here. Last time we held off a bit, but that was when it was at just standard tier. Even just rare, I think, is very much good enough for me. As soon as we get this, what is our Lamin Blooms at? So we're already sitting at almost 41%. That's pretty sweet. I don't like that that sounds sarcastic. I like Charon. He's a cool dude, okay. Ooh. 15% damage resistance at low health. It's pretty solid. And I feel like this boon was a huge part of what made, I guess not anymore our last round, two runs ago, um, very successful. Hmm. But it would be nice to get some bonus extra life. Between these two. Can't see my life total when I go there. It's bad because in my head, I'm like, ah, oh, could I take positive outlook? And maybe this time I could beat Charon, but I'm dealing way less damage, I think, even with the blade rifts and the dash strikes. The main thing is the greater evasion makes me <laughs> want to risk it, but I won't this time. I think I just, I, I was talking about wanting to get momentum going and keep it going. I think that's definitely what we need to do there. And so... 
Let's go positive Let's outlook. Hmm. Heck yeah, we'll even buy the money. Why not? Just rolling in it at the moment. Could have started to think about re-rolling our Olympian there. I do really like Artemis, but for this run, would have liked to see. I don't even know. Athena was nice, or is nice for either her dash, which I guess we couldn't take anymore, but her attack as well. of the seventh avatar something good supposed to happen if you do some divine archer person's aspect i should think you going to try it soon or not i'm sorry artemis i was very perturbed by my last defeat and i just had to get back in there you know hmm i'll go pressure points it's a little passive for sure I'm not totally intended, but appreciated. Um, but it's still, I think, fairly solid um, on our rifts here and on a lot of potential future pickups as well. I was actually trying to leave that fellow for Doom, but. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't have time to be... No, if that guy had been dead. First failed room. Shameful. Another shop, eh? If I'd even slightly more money, I'd still go right for the shop. Even just getting a boon, I think, is very much worth it. But, yeah, would have taken... Quite a few lucky buzz drops up there, so. Positive outlook or pressure points right off the bat. Let's go positive outlook. Hop into here, see how our next fight against all the Furies goes. Hello, Fury sisters. You mess with Tiss, Red Blood. You mess with me. Get it? Oh. No Meg. What is your thing? Alright, you dash across and You're behind the pillar, ma'am, I can't Can't see ya. There we go. We'll go in about the usual way. Oh right. <laughs> right, it's this fight. Alright. I'm remembering all of a sudden. It's been so long since I fought Persephone. There's the whip, and then she has the the dash, and she has yeah the beautiful flowering move there. Oh jeez, where are you? Sometimes I can't tell if it's one of the sisters in the background or if it's the one I'm actually trying to fight here. Oh, for a second there, I thought I died. <laughs> Just horrible trauma. <laughs> The last run against Caron. Oh, my sister left. So. Oh, that was me holding down that. I didn't realize my thumb was resting on the control or on the joystick there, so I thought there was a weird cutscene happening. Probably worth giving up, but not gonna. How are we doing on time there? It's looking all right. So I think I will take a little break here and just in this uh, little segment of the run, it's going a bit better <laughs> to be expected when we don't go for that first shot hair on fight. Oh, I still wish it had worked out in my heart of hearts. It would have been a wacky time, but still, I think this one's on a good start. And so We'll just take a break here for a quick second, and we'll be right back for it to continue on the Asphodel. See you soon.